I would boldly say it's no surprise to me the findings. Um, I knew exactly what I had done and exactly what I had not done. Uh, and I was not going to fail cricket in South Africa. And certainly I was not going to fail myself personally as well. Um, I must hasten to add also, I express grave disappointment at some of your colleagues uh, for having found me guilty through the media. Uh, I think between them and their organization, they ought to do what is right. Um, I seriously uh, would expect an apology and we move on um, because there was a lot that was said uh, before this independent inquiry had found anything against me. Um, so I'm pleased as I sit here today. As I said earlier, I'm not surprised by the findings. Uh, I'm also grateful to the board of Cricket South Africa. Uh, many, many uh, people in the public. Uh, in fact, at stages I was quite uh, flattered when I was sitting in places and people from the public came up and said to me, I know you've never done anything like that. Uh, that's very warming. And those are the kind of uh, people who kept me going through a, a difficult period. Uh, I'm also grateful to the staff in Cricket South Africa, uh, lots of the players. Uh, some of the players came up to me and said, you stay out, leave it to me, and I'll deal with it on the field. Uh, it's things like that that kept me going. Um, so I return back to the point about some of the colleagues. Um, I think uh, it's an opportunity for us to reflect. It's an opportunity for us to report fairly accurately, and I think we must start being just and fair towards Cricket South Africa. Because some people simply go with a, with a sledgehammer battering Cricket South Africa. I don't think it is fair. I don't think it is called for. And often when those facts are slanted, it, is, it brings your organizations into disrepute. I think the media in this country has got a serious role to play and we should all exercise our responsibilities. Just like you hold me accountable, I think you ought to be accountable as well. Well, in recent weeks, it was already a lot better. Um, in fact, I think they might well have moved off this topic some time back uh, because it was becoming apparent uh, that there was no evidence and that there was um, malicious statements made by some. Uh, so I think they had moved on this particular issue some time back. So um, we're in good space. Um, in, in a broad sense uh, across all the members of the ICC. Again, Mr. Nanzani would have been involved in those discussions, so I'm relaying you uh, what I understood. Um, at the time of some of the discussions that uh, was being held over the ICC revamp proposals, um, we made it very clear that there were no deals that we were willing to enter into. Um, and I know that there were uh, suggestions and it's linked to the earlier statement I made where the BCCI and many others had already moved on from this before the report uh, became available. Uh, and in those discussions, because they knew uh, what the outcome would be, there were suggestions of uh, let's forget the investigation, close it off, uh, no need to proceed, no need to conclude it. Uh, and that's what I understand was being suggested to Mr. Nanzani. And um, thankfully him, and certainly me, uh, we were not uh, willing to, uh, to drop anything.